Hi, this is a quick video on how to use the zoom and pan functions in Camtasia Studio. So here I have a single slide in my timeline and I've clicked on the zoom and pan icon down here. Now, if you, if you don't see it, you know, make sure to check in more, it might be in more, or you can always look under, let's see, is it under tools? Yeah, tools, zoom and pan. Okay, what the zoom and pan function will do is it'll act like a camera and will zoom in at a particular point on the timeline. So put on the timeline where you want to focus in on another part of your slide, okay? And then just click a corner, for example, of this little window here and see what will happen is it'll put the ending spot of the zoom animation where this video it where this box is okay so now I'm gonna go back and play it just to show you what happens now okay so the the way it works is it's added a little animation arrow here in the timeline that zoom and pan now can be moved along your timeline if you don't have it exactly right or if you think the zoom is going too slowly, you can shorten it so it'll zoom in faster. See, now watch. Okay. And you can get rid of that zoom by clicking delete, by highlighting the arrow and clicking delete. But let's undo that. Now you've zoomed in and you've talked about that specific point. Now you want to zoom back out. You can just click on this scale media to fit the entire canvas, for example, and now it'll zoom back out. So now let me just get these arrows right up, kind of short and right up next to each other. Okay. There, I moved them right next to each other. Now watch how it will zoom in and zoom out. Zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so that's just how to get started with it. It's a very useful function. And as you're working along in your timeline, you can just open this up and start rescaling it and doing it sort of really quickly. Every time you hear a point that you want to highlight, just you can zoom in on it. Okay, good luck.